this video is going to go over the five best long range rifles after the season two reloaded update we did get a few nerfs to certain weapons like the rpk and the rao and this video is going to go over what are your best options now that those have been adjusted starting off at number one and even though it did also get a nerf as well is the second mg38 definitely the best lmg in the game now by far ttks are pretty solid and uh, not only that is very easy to use magazine capacity is quite big and this is the perfect build for it now when it comes to optics that's obviously personal preference so you can do whatever you want with the optic but when it comes to the attachment tuning for the one i use this is what you see on screen at the moment feel free to screenshot um, the tuning if you need it then we do have the ole laser and um, so we are uh, going to go with that to get the faster aim down sight speed and aiming stability bonuses when it comes to tuning again you'll see that on screen and um, it's very easy to get the perfect tunes now if you know exactly what you're doing then we are using the brown silver steel series barrel not steel series i don't know why i said that um but the barrel itself does help with bullet velocity and recoil control so you do get um, both of those bonuses there that's why we're not choosing um the ammunition type and then when it comes to tuning again we're more tuning towards aim down sight speed and recoil control it's very important uh, that you tune towards recoil we are using the zulu suppressor i've said on numerous occasions this is the best suppressor in the game check sim.gg's website for overall getting the best bullet velocity not too much of a content aim down sight time and overall just the best stats when it comes to having a balanced suppressor you could get more bullet velocity with other suppressors but it's not really necessary to be honest and then when it comes to tuning this is what you want to be doing right here more towards aim down sight speed once again and more towards the recoil control side of things um, and then we are using the brune warrior grip which is the best grip for this gun and um, you don't really need to choose anything else and again the attachment tuning is more towards recoil and aim down sight speed or in this case we're more tuning even further towards recoil just to make sure that you can land your shots at range next up we've got the iso hemlock which is a very popular weapon right now probably the meta rifle in the game if i'm being perfectly honest because it is an assault rifle the only thing that lets it down is the 45 round mag um, but it still can down at least two enemies uh, if you're landing your shots i like this optic again you could choose whatever tuning you like fielder barrel which is the best barrel for this gun there's no other attachment you should be using here this is the best attachment for, for controlling recoil on this weapon uh, you are using the zulu suppressor once again because it is the best balance suppressor in the game and then the lock grip under barrel uh, because again it's the best under barrel in the game at controlling recoil now you can check the sim.gg website for all the stats on this and when it comes to tuning i haven't fully maxed out this weapon i'm gonna be perfectly honest i haven't played warzone in a long time uh, i usually just jump on to test all the weapons next up we have pretty much what is the best beginner gun in the game in my opinion and that is the tac 56 very easy to use and they haven't adjusted this weapon at all since its launch so i do feel like they are happy with the way this gun plays and even though it's one of the more popular weapons in the game it's quite surprising it hasn't took any nerfs by now uh, but it's still a solid choice regardless so you do want to use the 60 round mags the aim opv4 optic or whatever optic of your choosing you can tune this any way you like uh, personally i prefer more towards aim down sight speed and close so you get better magnification uh, high velocity is a must on this weapon so you do get the higher bullet velocity because we're not using any barrels tuning again we are tuning more towards uh, damage range that's because recoil smoothness doesn't really do anything and then also more towards recoil steadiness to get a bit more control in the weapon because we're not using a barrel then we are using the lock grip again for the under barrel because it's the best one and then we are tuning this more towards um it should be hip recoil control because this actually still gives you a bit of standard recoil control as well uh, so it should be around plus 0.47 and then the bottom slider should definitely be more towards aim down sight speed the zulu suppressor once again no changes here because it is pretty much the best suppressor in the game and then we are tuning this once more more towards aim down sight speed and this bottom slider is going to come down to personal preference if you do want a bit more bullet velocity in this gun you can push it more towards that and if you do want a bit more control which is the one i would recommend then push it slightly towards that you're not going to lose too much bullet velocity to be perfectly honest especially at below 200 meters the next gun is another beginner style weapon another very easy gun to use and that is the m4 so in terms of the build again you want to choose whatever optic you like i'll leave the tuning on screen so you can screenshot it if you need to 60 round mags is an absolute must if you're playing any of the larger game modes if you're playing solos or duos 45 should be enough actually uh, so both are solid choices here 
Uh, then we are using the lock grip once again for the underbarrel because it is the best, like I keep saying. And then when it comes to tuning, you do want to go more towards aim down sight speed at the bottom and then more towards hip recoil control on the left hand side. Again, it does help with standard recoil control as well. Not by much, but definitely a slight amount. And then the Zulu suppressor once again, because it is the best suppressor. And then the tuning again is going to be very similar here, more towards aim down sight speed more towards idle stability or bullet velocity depending on your preference and then when it comes to the barrel we do want to choose the high tower barrel because it helps with recoil control and bullet velocity and then when it comes to tuning again it's similar to what we had before with recoil steadiness and aim down sight speed last but not least we have quite a surprising weapon actually and i was going to put the stb on this list but the stb has such a small mag that you can't really use it for quads and I think that's probably the most popular game modes right now. So I do think the HCR is a solid choice. It's ground loot at the moment. So you should have leveled it up by now if you're playing a lot of Warzone. Um, and when it comes to the build, I do think this is the perfect build in my opinion. Uh, again, I'm using the optic that I prefer, but you can choose whatever optic you like. Um, then we are using the 7 milliwatt laser because it's going to help with the aim down sight speed of the weapon and the idle stability. And when it comes to tuning, this is how you want to tune it. More towards sprint to fire more towards idle stability of course then we are using the turaco barrel which is the one that actually helps with sound suppression recoil control and bullet velocity so a lot of pros there obviously the cons are quite big as well but when you do tune it it actually does help the weapon quite a bit so more towards recoil steadiness more towards aim down sight speed and then again we are using the lock grip because it is the best under barrel grip Again, the tuning is what you see on screen at the moment. And then we are using the Step 40 grip for a bit of extra recoil control. Now, if you do want a bit more movement speed, then you can go for uh, the Bruin Q900 grip. But personally, I think the extra recoil control is definitely welcome. And then tuning it as you see on screen at the moment. So the only gun people probably haven't tried out inside Warzone in a loadout right now is the HCR. So I do want to show you this in the firing range. As you can see here, very easy to use, super low recoil. Now, it's not the fastest TTK LMG in the game, but now that is one of the easier to control ones. It's definitely a solid choice for long range. And as you can see, the mag capacity definitely holds up as well. Even though it's only 60 rounds, it's still a solid mag. Um, and you can take out more than two opponents easily with this magazine. If you land a couple of headshots with this gun as well, definitely a solid choice at the moment. So there we have it, those are the five best long range rifles. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.